Hello everyone, Isaac Segunro here with another video. In this video, I'll be talking about REST API and how to do CRUD operations when working with the SharePoint list. CRUD basically stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. REST stands for Representational State Transfer. Essentially, it allows you to connect to a set of data sources. SharePoint has its own REST API, so REST just allows you to connect to connect to and interact with the list and, and libraries in the SharePoint site. The first CRUD operation we're going to be going over is create. And all of our CRUD operations in, in this video and in the next four videos will be using jQuery Ajax methods for our, for our operations. So this video is the first of four where I want to go over each of the CRUD operations. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're looking at here is a SharePoint list. Um, and it has these different columns. Here is our form. So when we hit the submit button, we wanted to get submitted into our list. So the CRUD operation there is create. That's the first operation we're gonna be going over. So I have my this is the here's the code for my form is just put in a table i just want to keep it simple i could have used um, divs the more modern style of creating your form but i just use the table to keep it simple um, i have a button here and i have a name for my button um and here are my different fields service permanent internet and region which is a drop down so let's go ahead and get started with that. So the first thing, here's my code. I already have this, um, what this does, I have an event listener on the window. So I have this e window dot event, add event listener, uh, DOM content loaded. So once the page is loaded, all, every, all the content is loaded, then whatever is in here, it kicks it off. And so what we're gonna do is in here, we're gonna add, we're gonna add an event listener. So let's just let me just put some notes here. Add event listener. So we're gonna say var btn equal, and I always like to let me come down here. I always like to create um, function get because, and I'll, I'll I'll explain that to you in one quick second here. Let me get this out. Uh, return document dot get element by ID and then whatever the element is I'm gonna put it in here so this is just a shorthand I created for document I get element ID I just hate typing this over and over and over again so for short I just use this so I want to say so get L so I'm basically storing my button and having access to it so now I'm gonna say btn dot add event listener and I'm gonna do a click submit so on submit I want to call the submit function so function submit now y'all didn't come here to see me typing so i'm going to pause the video and and just add the rest of the code and then i'm going to explain okay i am back so we have my event add event listener here when it listens for the click it listens for the click event that button and then it calls this function here i have a e prevent default so my form doesn't refresh the page so now i'm going to store my different values so service, internet, permanent, region, I store it in its own value, in its own variable. The region, because it is a dropdown, a choice field, I need it, this is how you're gonna grab that. So region.options and then whatever the selected, whatever was selected gets stored in here. So now here is where we do our CRUD operations. So first we need to, we're using the, um, 
the context of the SharePoint to grab our URL and then we're going to concatenate it to this to our API to our uh, rest API our, our excuse me our endpoint so this is our endpoint and then we here is our Ajax call so what what's required is in our Ajax call um, we have the URL type data and this is what it's asking for so our URL is going to be this full URL which is this here on line 20 and then we're doing a post because we're we are sending an item some values to our, to create our item now here is what we need to remember so this is what does all the magic I mean the whole thing does with this part right here so json.stringify right and then we have this metadata type and then the list now because I have a space regional data all this underscore x0020 underscore represents a space um, whenever you're doing this you it's always going to be sp dot data dot whatever the list item name is flushed up against list item now sometimes it may be it may be hard to, 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 to get this you may you know get this wrong sometimes so what you can do is um, what you can do and I'm gonna put I'm gonna bring my browser over over here what you can do is use a property of a SharePoint list called um, list item entity full name so let me bring this over here so I can show you so this is where you do it so I have my rest API my endpoint right and then it'll be forward slash list item entity type full name so let me click that and when you do that it gives you the exact name that you need so you can just copy this and then just paste it here which is what I've done and then we have these are the the columns in my list so title permanent iterant drusion so because I have put the values of these in here um, it's basically an object so I need the property that I need is value so service that value goes in the title permanent that value internet that value they go they go into their respective fields and then we got to have these headers here which is saying that it's it's JSON and then you always got to have this um, request digest value um, this is just boilerplate stuff that you just use over and over again um, and then what we're going to do is if it's a success we're going to call this function and if it's if there's if it's a fail then we call this function and these functions are defined oh I didn't even define it yet so let me come down here let me just grab this say this um, function alert your item has been submitted and then if it's a fail function alert your item did not submit please see the administrator so let me save that save and let's go see what happens to our form let's see so let me refresh the page I got my list item there okay so now let me um, I'm gonna say marine the number number uh, let's say east southern submit uh oh something's wrong so let me let me do a f12 just to see what the error is uh, e is not defined so let me go back to my form line nine nine oh so you're gonna make sure I pass that in here okay
So okay, so the save. Let me refresh. Let's try that again. Submit. Your item has been submitted. So it's a success. I think this is complaining about something else, but it's it's a success. Let's go to our list and see. Lists refresh. And there's our new item. So that was our first operation, the code operation, create. So just do a, a recap. So we have our window that event listener, which once the page is loaded, it, it calls uh, my event listener. It listens for an event click and then it calls the submit. Um, it grabs, stores all the values. This is how I capture the full URL and the endpoint of where my list is all the items how I get all the items and then we're using um, jQuery Ajax and we we can you can use vanilla JavaScript but the reason we use this is because it's much easier and as you can see I didn't use jQuery here I could have used jQuery but I didn't I guess it's just out of habit um, yeah so it's just out of habit that I, I use vanilla um, and so type is post we have this here, metadata. Whenever we're using, whenever we're creating or, or update, we always gotta have this in there. So that's always gonna be a part of that. Um, and we, we'll go over this when we go to get to our next operation, our update operation. And I'm storing the values in here. So once submit is hit it, if it's a success, a success, it calls this on query succeeded function. And if it's a fail, it calls the error function. Um, and as you see, it was a success. So I hope that made sense. I'm gonna provide a link to this in, in GitHub so you can get to it and, and play around with it yourselves. Um, so anyway, please leave your comments below um, and, and let me know if anything was confusing. All right, thank you, bye.